You can say whatever, and I'll just be like, welcome to my salon. What, what'd you say? What? Welcome to my salon. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna say. Yeah, we're already recording, Nadia. We're already recording? <laughs> yeah. Oh, we're going. oh, hi everyone. Um, welcome to my salon. I'm dyeing my hair purple. <laughs> so basically, I'm about to be the girl with not just a sexy voice, but also sexy hair. Sexy purple hair. So, we'll see how it goes, you know. Uh, link in bio. We'll, we'll put pictures up on the... What do we have this podcast on? Anchor.fm. Can well, you just make my hair like the, the the logo? We could put well, we could put the pictures up on our Instagram if that's what you want. Yes, I'll put it on my I'll put it on the Instagram. Put yeah, it on the Insta. <laughs> okay, we'll go to the song. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Experience Podcast with me and someone else. Hi, it's Nadia. Back again. Yeah. Uh, Connor, I don't know where Connor is. He may come on later. Connor just, you know, Connor's like that sometimes. <laughs> he hasn't been on in a while, actually. He hasn't been on an episode. He's, he was busy during finals, as he says. Yeah, right. He's probably busy with the frat, the frat life. During finals week? I don't know about that. I know, I'm just... <sighs> so where are your sisters? What's going on? Um, I think you're downstairs, like, doing homework. Doing homework. I can tell Sophia if you want her to join in. I mean, she wants to join in. You don't want to make her do anything. Well, I think... Uh, I don't know. I'm just kind of... Oh, she said she was, like, sitting and listening to our last episode, and she said it made her laugh the entire time, so... That's good. Like, the one that she was on? Yes. Or just the most recent <laughs> Experience podcast? Oh, okay. The one that she was on. That's good. I mean, she was laughing while she was recording it, so... I know exactly. Uh, so I don't. So are you are you painting over the uh, blonde that you already have? Yeah. So basically, I bleached my hair like three times because me. So me and Abby, we try to get myself like blonde highlights, and then we put purple on it. But my hair is too dark, and it just didn't really show up at all. Like it just made my hair a little darker. It just looked like a dark, darker brown. And then like it showed up on some of the bleached parts. Like there was a couple purple strands, but that was it. So I've just taken it upon myself. And I'm really committed to this now. And I bleached my hair like two more times. So now it's super blonde, like the super blonde, like shoulder down. And right now I am putting purple like almost all over. So. Okay, so you're going full purple. Pretty much full purple. Like I'm basically going from like my ears down. I was going to say you're not on the top area. Yeah, I don't want to, like, go to my scalp. Like, that's just too much. Plus, I was, like, you know, because I also, I put the blonde, like, shoulder length down because I was, like, if I don't like it, I can just go get a cute bob. Whatever. You mm-hmm. know, if I screw it up. So, not a big deal. You know. But I, I feel like I'm very invested in this, and I really hope it turns out this time. I think it will. We'll see, though. I also just don't know how this shade's going to turn out because it's, like, I like it right now, but it's kind of like a magenta, so I'm worried it's going to be more pink than, like, purple. Is it going to change, like, in the sun, too? That's what I wanted to do. That'd be cool, lighter in the like, sun. I, I think that'd be cool, like, if it was, like, change colors in the light, you know? Then, like, you never know what you're going to get with me. So. Okay. I'm also about to roll up to my National Lab internship with purple hair. It's going to be great. Um, do you know, um... So, like, for this internship, they're, like, paying for a round trip. Um, well, I want I, I can't do a round trip flight because I want to fly out from San Diego and then fly to Atlanta, and I guess I can't do that, whatever. Um, but, like, when they when I go when I go from the airport to the lab, they're getting me a limousine. So wow. I'm going to feel really cool. This is you very important. you get a limousine important. in Berlin, Daniel? Uh, no, I'm just going to Berlin. Oh. <laughs> Why do you need a limousine from... Well, I guess. I don't know. It sounds very extra, but I'm really excited, and I hope it's actually a fancy limousine. Why don't they use the money toward the actual project and the funding and all that? You know, you would think. I don't think, you know, adults don't really know how to spend money, is my conclusion. Clearly. When was the last time you dyed your hair? Uh, I've never actually dyed it before. Oh, wait, actually, no, that's not true. When I, one time in freshman year, me and my, uh, my roommate, Kayla, we, like, I got one of those, like, like kind of, like, reddish hair dyes and did, like, all my entire head red and then just kind of, like, washed out after a week, couple weeks. 
so it was like whatever. And How then we did that with like Thanksgiving in? break. How long did this stay in? This I don't know. It doesn't. This doesn't say on the jar. I don't really know. Permanent? Oh. No, it's like semi permanent. It just kind of says fades gradually with each shampoo. So like I don't know. Um, but this like tub of purple stuff was not too expensive, so I can just keep doing it, you know, now that I've already bleached. Well, I it's a lot just... of work. I mean, that's like what, it three, is, but you know two, what? three this hours. Is... Yeah. Uh, this is like very, I don't know. I feel like this is my self care time. This is very chill, very satisfying. You know, I'm just out here mm -hmm. painting my hair and I've just been sitting here all day, like watching Brooklyn nine, nine, not doing anything. And I've just been, and now I'm just like watching Brooklyn Nine Nine painting my hair. It's so nice. So I feel like it's good, like you know, self care. So uh -huh. collect your yeah. thoughts from the day. Exactly. My mom, my mom said the same thing. She's like, that sounds like too much work. But you know what? I don't want to sit in a salon chair for eight hours and pay two hundred and fifty dollars for it when I can just do it myself in shorter time. So yeah. Okay. Well, fair enough. And it'll only be like, well, depending on how long it lasts, like one month or something, probably. Yeah, probably a month or two. Well, I probably less. I don't know. So we'll we'll have to see. We'll have to see how it goes. It's 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 a very new thing. And if I if it gets to be too much effort and I'm not into it, I, like I said, I can just get a cute bob, or I can just let it fade back to the blonde, or I could bleach it again, and the the blonde kind of looks cute too. So, yeah. There's a lot of options. Yes, you gotta leave them open. Exactly. Exactly. Why don't you? Uh, what about dye on your hair, Daniel? Now I'm <laughs> an expert, I... so I could do that. I could do the frosty tips for you. I think I've got. Uh, should the poll? Okay, we need a poll. Um, viewers, we need you to decide: Should Daniel get frosty tips? I think I'm kind of for it. I really want to try it. Other people have said no. Rachel had a resounding no. Rachel said she, no. Ari said she, no. Owen yeah. said no. Okay, but. <laughs> <laughs> whose opinion really matters is mine so uh, i guess so exactly i mean I, I it's it is kind of a little uh 90s ish isn't it and everyone's well, this... bringing back 90s looks 90s grunge kami who who's bringing back 90s looks everybody it's always i kami hmm. the flannel the flannels around the waist like the whole uh i guess so um i don't know i think it'd be too much I, okay, i'd have to look daniel's hair as you said grows fast so you could just cut it off just like me wouldn't i have to change the style a bit to accommodate for the tips no i don't know i feel like i'd have to mix it up or what if you just went full on blonde how did that go what do you think full on blonde that's too much it would clash with like like what I have to do with my eyebrows as well. Mm, I don't think so. Did Colin do his eyebrows? I don't think so. I don't know. I think, um, I don't know, a full-on blonde would be a lot. But then again, going to Germany, maybe that would look better. <gasps> it would fit in yes. more. Yes, exactly, exactly, exactly. <laughs> no, then no, your, no, your, no, name, no. your last name will match your hair. My last name would match my hair. Does it not already match? I guess yeah. not. But, but I don't have my name on my... Well, okay. Well, anyway. Um, what are your plans in the next couple weeks as you wait to go to leave? My plans in the next couple weeks are to, one, chill out because I had a terrible semester. Um, really? It was bad? You didn't get what? the grades you wanted? You didn't get the grades you wanted? Actually, I actually did really well academically. Um, I did really well. I'm very proud of myself considering how awful everything was. So I'm really proud and I think I'm about to be competitive for grad school. So that's good. Yeah, I feel I feel fantastic about my grades. Um, but no, it's just like really bad, like emotionally and stuff like everything just kind of sucked. But yeah. you know what? It's OK because it's over. And so for the next two weeks. So basically for this internship, the guy sent me the project description. And it was like, you're going to be using like Python and C++ to be doing uh, 
verification and validation of the safety analysis code. And I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. My resume does not say any, like my resume says MATLAB and vPython. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, mm -hmm. yo, bro, am I gonna need to know this stuff? And he was like, oh, well, you wrote vPython. So you like Python syntax, right? And I was like, I mean, I guess. Barely, like, yeah. Yeah, so he was, he was like, oh, uh, you're good. So I was like, hmm, probably not. So I'm gonna try to learn some Python or at least like get the basics down. Um, you can't use MATLAB? I probably not. Well, you might be able to. I don't know. It, it did you should not ask him. MATLAB, so you should, we'll I, just, I, wouldn't, you, I wouldn't trust knowing. It. Also, I might as well like pick up new skills, am I right? Yeah, but I I mean, I don't, you shouldn't. Yeah, okay. I think it'd be good for me to, especially if I'm not doing it. It'd be good, but you don't want to rush it, and then if you're not good at, you know, if you don't learn it well enough, it ruins the lab and, and that sort of thing, you know. Well, I mean, this guy is expecting me to not know anything, so I think if I do know something, that would be even better, you know? Well, there you go. So I really think it's going to be fine. Okay, well. Uh, what are you see. doing? What um, are you doing until June? You got like a month, bro. Yeah, uh, well, there's, I have, well, I have a big dentist appointment coming up. No, uh. I have a wedding in a couple weeks, so that, that's Ew. something, I guess. Are you bringing a plus one? Uh, I asked him, and he didn't want to go. Oh, sad. It'd be tough for him to go because of you know, he's working. Oh. Uh, he might be able to get off on the weekend, but I don't know if it's kind of one of those, can I bring a... Well, I probably could bring a plus one, but it'd be a little weird. Uh, yeah, so I have a wedding, and then I don't know what I'm going to do until the middle of June. I may go visit him in That's Atlanta. Awesome. But in, he's in Atlanta, because he's going back to Atlanta first. What is he doing? He's working for the Navy. Doing what? Like other, like Navy, like probably like paperwork and other stuff like that. Oh. Getting the ROTC unit ready, whatever In Atlanta? Is. Yeah. The whole summer? No, until the end of June, and then he goes to Monterey. Oh, right, 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 Monterey. Yeah, for grad school. To yeah. the best coast. <laughs> uh, so, so we can, yeah, so that's what, that's what he's doing. So I may go visit him for a week or so down there. Why don't you go to Monterey? Because I'm going to Berlin. Oh. <laughs> kind of conflicts with it. You screwed this up. I'm trying to like undo some. I'm just trying to untangle my hair. It's fine. Everything's fine. Okay, here we go. Are you sure? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Just gonna uh, get the brush. Let's see next to you. I know. I'm. Hold on, Daniel. I know <laughs> what I'm doing. Okay. Anyways, um, so wait, what are you gonna do? Be doing when you're in Berlin? Uh, well, I just interviewed with the company, so I'll tell you. Let me. I'll tell you off air. Because that's not finalized yet. Oh, okay. But it'll be something like kind of like a more uh, high level business kind of thing, let's say. So, business focused stuff instead of like chemical yeah. focused stuff? Yeah, yeah. It'll give me a chance to kind of broaden my scope a bit since I've been doing a lot of science and engineering stuff. I don't okay. know. I kind of see myself long term ending up in something like that in like a, in loan, like a manager management kind of role. Okay, like are you a, a hoping business. that they're going to, like, eventually give, give you a full-time offer? They said they might. That's and cool. And they do have, like, U.S.-based people. Because this company is a small startup, let's say. Um, they only have, I think they have, like, less than 10 people that are actually working for them. Or fewer than 10 people. Uh, so, yeah, so they, they do have a U.S.-based salesperson who I'm going to talk to tomorrow. Cool. Yeah. Nice. We'll see how it works, which actually work well considering, or if I could do well, I'll, again, I'll maybe I'll tell you that later, because we'll t I'll talk about like what happened, uh, what I told, what I texted you before. If Wait, what? What I remember what I texted you the whatever a couple weeks ago. No. Or that last week. It's kind of big. Oh wait, uh, yeah wait. Yeah, uh, I, we won't talk about that on right here. Now? It's not, we're not going to talk about this right now? No, we shouldn't talk about it on here. It's oh, not, okay, it's well, ugh, whatever. I didn't think, I thought, I assumed it wasn't that serious, but okay. Uh, it might be. 
Shit! Okay, I'm just sorry. Yeah. Just cut yeah. this out. Just cut this part out. Anyways, <laughs> no. anyways um, moving on. <laughs> don't um, don't so, look at me like that. <laughs> um, what shows anyway, have you been watching lately, Daniel? What shows have I been watching? Uh, I've been keeping up with... Uh, well, obviously, Game of Thrones is wrapping up soon. Oh, yeah. Are you enjoying that? Everyone's, like, screaming about it on Twitter. I have no idea what they're talking about. Uh, sorry, people. I've only seen, like, two episodes of Game of Thrones, but... You can watch it. You have HBO now, so... Do Oh, yeah, but I just don't... I can only take so many TV shows at a time, okay? I'm trying to get yeah, people to work with Night right now. Yeah, this is a long one. Um, I'm watching Barry. That's good. It's also on HBO. Uh, what else? There's a new uh, Netflix series that I was going to start watching. It's called Huge in France. What's and it's that? about like It's about, I think it's based on a real-life guy, uh, about a, a stand-up comedian from France who was, like, the most famous French comedian. Uh, yeah, his name is Gad. G-A-D. Uh-huh. And he moves to L.A. And, you know, hijinks ensue. Because he wants to be closer to his son. So he moves. He's a big French comedian. He moves to L.A. And, uh, um, and obviously he isn't as... Or he's kind of dealing with his uh, family relationships and other things like that. So Interesting. So you're watching this right now? No, I have that in my queue. I'll watch that probably... Okay. Um, soon, probably, probably the next couple weeks. Uh, it's a Netflix series, and it's only one season, so I can do that in like a day. Um, that's not cool. too bad. Maybe I'll put it on my own. Have you seen the movie Eighth Grade? Oh no! But I was, you know, my family saw it without me. I kind of want to watch it. <laughs> Should I watch it? It's really good. I think you would like it, especially as a girl. Um, obviously, because it stars a girl, an eighth grade girl. But I mean, I watched. I've watched it a couple times and. I okay, I will, I I will watch. Was that on Netflix? It's on Amazon. Amazon? Okay, I'll watch. Maybe I'll just like watch it tonight or something. I'll do that. Yeah, it's very good. Uh, we I watched it with Owen's family last night. Oh, that's <laughs> and, cute. Uh, it's very relatable. I mean, all the actually the guys, his dad and Owen, are actually laughing more than his sister. So it oh, tells nice. you how. Um, but yeah, it can apply to anyone. It's just basically about like an eighth grade girl. It's a coming of age movie. It's Interesting. Like, uh, yeah, yeah I kind of like it. So like Big Mouth. No, no, it's not like that. It's, it's, I know. I mean, it is rated R, but there's none of that kind of stuff. Oh. It's not like a sexual How thing. How is it rated R then? Like language and some other stuff that happens. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's mostly language. She, she drops like five F bombs throughout the movie. I mean, yeah, that's what middle schoolers do. Yeah. Amy's in middle school. That's no, but it's, it's very realistic. Like, even Owen said at some point, like halfway through the movie, he was like, did they just go to and ask the middle schoolers just like, do what you got, what you normally do, because this is really realistic. I was like, yeah, they, they, it is. And it's you know Bo Burnham, right? The comedian, Who? Bo Burnham. Uh, I should know that name. I've heard that name. Uh, not he's the, putting my face to it. Yeah, he's the director. So and he's like a, a uh, comedian. he's like a he's like a stand-up comedian. I think he's also considers himself a musician. He does like some uh, musical comedy kind of stuff. Um, so I think he contributed. I should check that. I shouldn't keep saying that he contributed to the score. Eighth grade. Uh, that was very good. Have you seen Lady Bird? Yeah, I have seen that. Yeah, I would say this is like a middle school version of that, maybe. Oh, okay, okay. But not like with the, but not is not necessarily about like the mom and the daughter thing. It's more of like a father and daughter thing. So oh, flip okay. the gender. Yeah. I don't know, that's also very good. I, I was going to show that to Owen tonight. Just go through all the uh, teen female movies that I that I know. That's good. You know, we need we need more men watching chick flicks because it's like girls it's watch chick, chick flicks. Flick. That's the thing. I don't consider like Lady Bird a chick flick. It's just about a woman, but yes, it's we different. need more men watching like 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 um. It's different than your what you would stereotypically female think of a chick centered. Flick. Yeah, it's more um, of a female centered movie. Yeah. Like my dad won't watch Lady Bird. Like why? Well, because it doesn't start out straight white man but i don't understand like well, your mom's gonna watch movies no, that she wouldn't watch it she won't watch it either i don't know why they won't watch the... i keep telling them to watch the movie uh... okay well yeah i don't know what i'm trying to get at daniel i don't know what i'm trying to get at either people don't listen 
The hair looks good. Huh? It's coming in. I mean, kind of. <laughs> it's happening. It is really happening. Except also, I'm also getting like my entire bathroom and my phone purple. So. In your phone? Yes, my phone's right in front of me, and I've definitely touched it a few times accidentally. Here, let me get. Oh, just touch the computer too while you're at it. Like it's just like purple all over here. Well, you might as well go all in, all in on the purple. Exactly. I'm pretty excited. I'm hoping. I'm just hoping I roll up to this internship and that there's other cool people and they'll see my hair and you know me and they'll just be that like, gay and then I'll get a summer girlfriend. Is you Chicago know? big on that? I don't know how where they rank in terms of. I don't think they're very high on, like, the LGBT community. Really? I don't know. Oh, but I found the Chicago Pride is on June 30th, so I'm definitely going. Oh, yeah, there you go. I already have, I have my Best Buy shirt ready. Mm -hmm. That's pretty convenient, actually. I have my rainbow socks. Do you have a hat? Hat? What kind of hat? I have okay. snapback, so I feel like that's that's pretty gay. So. That's, yeah, so. that'll work. Exactly. Okay. Well, uh, anything else you want to go over on this on this podcast, or what else? Okay. What, what do you want to cover? I thought you um, had something. You know what? We should give our review of Endgame. <laughs> oh, you want to do an Endgame? So review? basically, this is what happened, everybody. Okay. Daniel and I. Well, we planned. We caught. We were trying to plan to see Endgame. I assume Dan. Dan kept saying we're gonna go this time, so I assume oh. he bought tickets. Then he didn't. Oh. He's like, fine, we can go see it at this random uh, cinema at 10 a.m. And I was like, okay. And then I was dumb, and I was, like, going out. So the night before, I stayed up until 4 a.m. making mac, mac and cheese with my homie. And then <laughs> I got up at 8.30 uh, so that we could go. We could get early to there, early to the cinema to get seats. And we get there at, like, 9. Nobody's there. There's no line or anything. And I was like, wow, LOL. That um, was weird. It should have been 10 a.m. showing, and... Yeah, no, no, wait, how are you- Wait, wait, we went, to, we went to Starbucks, you got your coffee. I didn't even okay. get coffee, all I got was Baby Bell cheese. It, no, you did get coffee, didn't you? Uh, nope. You got some drink. Oh, yeah, I, oh, never mind, I got a, I got a, I got the Mango Dragon Fruit Refresher, it's, it's the best oh, yeah. one there. There you go, you got something, it's not like you didn't get it, it's not like you rolled right out after no sleep and didn't get anything. We, we took care of you. And then I, you also, got food. I also bought pizza. Yeah, you bought pizza. You bought a whole pizza. Maybe not a great idea, but you know, it's fine. Really, it didn't work. Didn't flow with the movie. Well, no, it was fine. It's just that's so expensive. I could have just waited and ate my mac and cheese when I got home. You know. But you just made it. You didn't eat it. Huh? You just made it. You didn't eat any of it last. I, uh, that I definitely thing? ate a whole bowl of it, but we made a ton. Like I was like, I need to get rid of these noodles before I move out. So I made like three cups of noodles. Hmm. Okay. I well, two whole bags of cheese in there. Did you? Uh, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, then Jake got a bunch of food. I don't think he ate a lot of it. Oh yeah. So Dana, what did you think of Endgame? Daniel saw it like three times. I've seen it twice. Okay, cool. I haven't seen it since. I was just looking there and saying, oh, that was pretty good. Uh, yeah. This is a good job wrapping up the uh, the whole series, obviously. It, yeah, I it, thought it was like good. Like, I mean, yeah, like definitely no loose ends, you know? It help, Well, it helps if you've seen a lot of the previous movies and you've seen maybe half of them. Yeah, maybe yeah. half. I don't even maybe know. Half. Well, I've seen all, like, the group ones, like, the big, like, I went, I remember going to see, like, Avengers, and then Civil War, and then, like, I, you know, I saw Infinity, I, I don't know, uh, Infinity War and whatnot, uh, but, like, in terms of, like, the individual movies, not as much, like, I was just kind of more, like, aware of them. Like, did you see Thor The Dark World? Uh, see, this is the thing, is that my dad and my sister watched all the Marvel movies without me when I was in, like, middle school. So, Why? Why they just have, like, been on the TV, uh, and I've, like, walked in and been like, oh, like, there's a Marvel movie on, and maybe seen, like, parts of movies. But I don't actually know exactly which ones I've seen all of. Um, I saw all of Doctor Strange. Yeah, I feel like that good. was an important one. I think I saw Ant-Man. Um, Ant-Man, a lot of these, a lot of the recent ones are on Netflix and... 
well, they won't be there for that much longer. So if you want to watch them, you, you should watch them soon. Oh, okay. I just wish I'd seen uh, Ragnarok. That's on Netflix. Okay. I but uh, I but Disney's it. launching their streaming app in November, so I don't think they'll be on Netflix oh, that much wait, longer. Oh, have a streaming app? Yeah, Disney has their own streaming app. Oh, of course. Okay. Well, well it's, all, it's pretty cheap. I think it's like $6 a month. That's no, that's that that's too much considering I'm paying six dollars a month for every every single other thing. It's cheap. No, it's cheaper than everything else. Netflix is like seven or eight. It's actually cheaper okay, than all the others. Hulu five? Mm, I guess so. But Disney's gonna have a lot of Disney will have all the Star Wars stuff and they're having a new series. They have all their animated movies ever. Here's my question. Where can I stream Harry Potter? Oh, uh, there's no Warner Brothers app yet exactly. so you can't really stream it anywhere that's all that matters you what about like fantastic also, like, beasts camp, oh my god wait if disney has their own streaming app they're probably gonna have like camp rock and jump into all the high they will have that they will have those oh no you know they're gonna get me with that oh i just got purple on my face <gasps> where i can't see it oh i see it now yeah ah <sighs> awesome okay cool. yeah disney will have everything they ever made pretty much on the app i think so and they'll have new stuff too. They're they're gonna do a live action Lady in the Tramp movie. Uh, do you think they're gonna have like a student? Can they have like a Disney student subscription or something? Mm, it's again, it's already six dollars. It's pretty cheap considering Disney could charge you like forty, and a lot of people would pay. I'll just wait for somebody else to get it and use their account. Daniel, are you gonna get it? Uh, I have to talk to my family if they want it. I don't know if my sister will want it. I mean, there's a lot. There's gonna be a lot. Yeah, they're they're doing a lot of like Marvel shows. They're doing a Loki series. They're doing a Scarlet Witch and Vision series. So, uh, and they kind of tease those series in Avengers Endgame, if you pay attention. So, like, if you remember what happens to Loki, kind of in the middle of the movie, right? Do you remember? Oh, yeah. That's, that'll be like a series. That's probably what his series is, is him doing that sort of thing. Oh, shoot, you're right. Oh, interesting. And so, yeah, so they'll kind of be like side stories that, that'll be on the app, and then you can watch the main movies in the theater. Uh, but yeah, all the, all the Disney stuff will be off Netflix and everything, too, by then. So, you, so if you want to watch anything yeah. Disney, you have to watch their streaming server, or you have to get their streaming Disney, service. Not, not Camp Rock, they love Camp Rock, too. Yeah. Disney McGuire? Okay. Wait, mm, what was that? Do they even have Lizzie McGuire on Netflix? Is that is that Disney? Yes. Okay, yeah, it'll be on there. It'll be on there. Well, is it on Netflix right now? No, uh, it doesn't matter. It's not going to be on Netflix for long. I'll look it up. Hold on. We were trying to tell me to go catch up on things on Netflix before they're gone to Disney, but um, not everything is on there. Uh, let's see if Lizzie McGuire is in there. It's not on there. I don't see it. I mean, Netflix at some point is just going to be their own stuff, too. So. Yeah, I guess that. you're right. There, there's a lot of new Netflix movies and stuff. Well, but, they're uh, trying to get rid of all the other stuff because they don't want to have to license stuff. It costs more money for them. Wait, what? And like dis and all the other services are going to start pulling their stuff from Netflix. So, like I said, it's Disney pulls pulls their stuff, so they're not going to uh, be yeah. able to. Yeah. They're not going to be able to license. They're not going to be able to license these. I movies. feel like Netflix is doing pretty well with its like original shows and movies, though. Like Bird Box seemed like mm. it was doing really well. It's hit or miss. There's there's their stuff and, is like, hit or miss. I mean, yeah, it is hit or miss, but it seems like they have the the like the ones that are hits are like are doing really well. I don't um, know. Stranger Things but, comes like, out in a couple months. Yeah, comes out in or July like 4th. Orange is the New Black, like everyone loved that. Yeah. Um. But yeah, I I think. Or yeah, maybe we'll maybe we'll share a Disney Plus service. Would you pay three dollars a month for it? Um, yeah, yeah, maybe. I think it's like, uh, let me check. It's probably do that. What do you mean? You just pay me $3 a month. 
I'm not going to remember to do that. Okay, then pay me a lump sum. Or maybe, maybe, here's what I'm saying. Maybe you get a Venmo and then you request me $3 every month. Daniel what? refuses to get Venmo. Well, it's too, it's too complicated. Uh, what isn't, isn't, I think it's, you could, you get a discount if you buy it all at once. Let's, let me check. Uh, I think it is. <sighs> oh yeah, Frozen 2 is coming out later this year. Oh, that'll be interesting. There's a lot of stuff coming out this year. Disney has a ton of stuff coming out. Yeah, yeah I guess to... there were a bunch of Disney previews at the beginning before yeah. Endgame. There's Aladdin, it's... Lion King. Yeah, fun fact, um, all those previews we watched, uh, my uncle did the sound for them. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. Where is the price? Yeah, launches in November. Uh, okay, it costs $7 a month or $7.70 for the year. So you have to pay me $35 for the year. Okay. You know what? Actually, I will. Especially because if I'm going to be Rad Dad, you know, I want them to watch Disney movies with me. So I think we need that subscription. Maybe I'll talk to my family and they'll, they'll just get it. My sister may just want it. I don't think my brother will want it. Or my mom. I don't think she'll want it. But they'll have other, they'll have like original series too. It won't just be their old stuff. But also like, for example, Avengers Endgame would go out on the streaming service uh, like right after it goes out on blu-ray so which is about a couple months after the release you basically get it first you would get it first on streaming because oh. now they don't have to go through yeah. the third parties i don't know i'm not a big like movie rewatcher person so no but like... if you missed it in the theaters i'm saying you could you, you could get That's it pretty true. quicker than you don't like netflix it takes it would take longer that's what i'm saying it's not quick to uh spoilers you know i'm sorry i missed that what was it you wouldn't, it wouldn't come out quick enough for you to not get spoiled. Well, you know? for, that's for like a big movie. For other things, like if you want to watch, if you don't see Aladdin in theaters. That's true. Yeah. For other things. Yeah. That'd be and great. If you want to see Aladdin or, or whatever. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, uh, that's, that's, that's the streaming service. Well, what do you think? Of, what do you think of Endgame? When I think of Endgame, I thought it was great. Like, I cried the entire time. But I didn't mm -hmm. even cry when people died. I just cried when, like, women were empowered. Or, like, when Thor cried to his mom. I was like, we are here for letting men be vulnerable, you know? Yeah. And, like, it was just, it was just, it was just very good. Just like family and friendship. And I was like, wow, we're out here, you know, promoting important value to America's youth. There's a lot of good character moments where they let the characters... Yeah. Uh, Especially, like, themselves. and you know, I, I really like that. I really like how it was, like, hey, how, like, the plot was, like, we're going to go on this adventure to, like, find these stones and stuff. So it was, like, it was more of, like, a, you know, instead of just being, like, oh, let's just fight the bad guy. Like, they just saved that for, like, the last hour or, like, half hour, which was, like, very nice. Because it's, like, you just get to see, like, a cool... Well, awesome Infin movie. Infinity War, if you think of it like, as them together, Infinity War is the big battle uh, in the action part. And Endgame is more of the drama stuff, right? I mean, yes, but there wasn't like a, there wasn't a big battle, really, in, in Infinity War. Uh, the end one in Wakanda? Yeah, yeah. consider that a big battle? Yeah, I guess so. It's a pretty big battle. It takes up most of it. And then, like, the one on Titan, if you want to count that as a big battle, too. Yeah. But, I don't know. So, I, I liked it. Okay, that's good. Have you seen it again? Since we no. saw it? No. Um, but my dad was saying when it comes out on the Navy base, we might go see it. Oh, that's good. It comes out separately on the Navy base? Yeah. Because then we can just go see it for free. Oh, okay. Comes out, like, later. And you have to stand for the national anthem. Of course. Uh, yeah, so, uh, yeah, also, so Sophia hasn't seen it yet. Mimi hasn't seen it yet. 
Sophia, see, no, so my my dad went to go see it with Sophia like a couple days after we saw it. Okay. What about Mimi? I don't think Mimi or my mom have seen it. So I think Mimi was like at gymnastics or something. Hmm. Did she get an answer to the question she asked last time on the uh, podcast? I don't remember. Anyway, uh, we can wrap up soon here. Is there anything else you want to discuss before we close out? Oh, not that I can think of. Do you have anything? No, the hair's coming along nicely. I know. I'm almost done, pretty much. And you know what? I only used, like, half the tub. Actually, that's kind of concerning. I feel like I didn't put enough in it, and it's not Well, you didn't do your whole hair. You didn't do... You didn't go to the Yeah, roots. but I don't know if that would, would have made too much of a difference. I don't know. I feel like I should have used more... Mm -hmm. Also, can't tell how high up I went in the back. Maybe I'll just get my my family to help me. Um, but yeah. So basically, oh look, I'm I'm like pretty much in out here. What? So yeah, I'm just gonna kind of go over it a few more times, you know. Mm -hmm. And then, um, you know. Well, take a picture and send it to me, and I'll we'll put it on. I the will. Instagram. I will. Y'all see it on Instagram, you know. Look it up on the gram. Yeah, this is gonna be me promoting our Instagram, basically. Exactly. We can't keep putting like pictures of Tanner. It's not. It's not doing well. We had uh, two of my students on last week's episode, um, so you should check that out. What? Why? Yeah. They wanted to come on. They were like, "We should come on the podcast." I was like, "I guess you can." Do they listen to it? Uh, kind of. I think they may have listened to one of the episodes beforehand. Interesting. But they just thought they would. They just thought they would. They could contribute to the podcast. That's adorable. Yeah. Well, Tanner kept trying to like. I don't know what he was doing. Tanner was there too. Them. Yeah, because Connor wasn't able to make it because he, he was, was so busy to, with he was, finals. He was trying to show them up and be like, "No, I'm an original member." I don't know. I don't know what Tanner he was trying to do. It was very weird. He was like, I don't know. He was trying to compete with me there's no competition that's the thing so i don't know what he's well anyway. i can see you guys doing that you guys are i don't know just have to argue about everything Whatever. that's true it makes the podcast more interesting i okay. guess um i'll catch you at some point later okay. oh you wanna we'll, we'll stop recording then we can talk about the other thing if you want okay yeah um good talking t on this podcast you know follow me on Insta at follow the spiders with a Z and catch me on the experience gram when I have purple hair. See yep. you next time. All right, thanks.